Hello again, it's Priscilla Battel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. The front room, the echo chamber. And this is a 12 by 24 inch pre-primed black dry canvas that I'm going to just use as a background with some more black paint, which is my artist loft with Walmart semi-gloss half and half and then pouring medium, the recipe of which you can find under the video. And if it's available, I use Deco Art Pouring Medium, and if it's not, I use a different configuration that includes GAC 800. And I include GAC 800 no matter what, because it prevents cracking in the painting. At least some percentage. So I'm going to try and use some black acrylic enamel as a catalyst for swiping. Whoops. And this was my idea. And... I'm going to try this stuff. I don't know why I want to try it, but I like to experiment. So this is like that packing stuff, the foamy stuff that protects like, I don't know, stereo equipment is the only thing that comes to mind. And I also have some, some uh, I think she said it was 5 mil plastic, which is pretty much the same thing as my edge catchers. But cardboard has been working for edge catchers. This is going to be a swipe cloth. So let's just get on with it. And I've got my colors next to me. I want... I don't want the thickest layer of black here, but I want it not to dry. <laughs> and I do have a fan going in here, because even in Florida, even in air-conditioned comfort, it still gets warm when you're working. I don't care what anybody says. I probably should have used my little cooler. So I'm just going to... Yeah, sorry about the spinning. I know it would bother somebody. probably would bother me if I were watching it too, so... I'll try and spin slower. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula. You were waiting for that. I know most of you. It's uh, there's a there's a blue link under the video. It's inside the link. It, it says link tree, and all my other links are there. That is the place to look for Sachi art, my website, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and the Amazon link is first. And if you shop there. You can find this OXO omelet turning spatula and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst uh, mini blade spatulas also. So now comes the interesting part. Now I get to decide how I want my colors to go down and to tell you about them. That's the stretcher bar catching on the spatula under there, but Floetrol is in my mix and Floetrol levels everything. It's a latex paint conditioner and if you're in the United States it's Probably not difficult to find at Lowe's or Home Depot or even your local paint contracting store. I see that thing. Whenever I want my tweezers, I've always put them someplace I can find them easily and then <laughs> I can never find them. At least that time I found them. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about my edges. I'm going to try not to worry about my edges. And I'm going to quick like a bunny wipe that blade off so I can use it again in a minute if I want to. Wipe it down on my cotton studio rag and then look at my colors. And I like these colors. They're pretty much the same favorite swipe colors that I always use. And I'm going to just try and be inspired by whatever comes. And like I said, if the, uh, if the card that I'm going to try and play with doesn't work, then I'll use something else. And this time, But that was a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to go all over the place. That's probably more gold than I need over here. But I'll figure out how to make it work. So, the one bottle I didn't open was the black enamel. Okay then. I've got colors I like. That was kind of fun putting those down there. Thank you guys for joining me, by the way. If you, uh, if you decide you'd like to be helpful, watch the whole video. Watch it when it, uh, when it first announces on notifications. Give me a thumbs up. I love your comments. Thank you so much for all the donations that help keep me painting. Yeah, I'm just going to sprinkle a, a nice dose of this um, enamel around and then see. So this is kind of freeform, as you can tell. That's the green gold from Folk Art. That is the purple flash from Folk Art. These are not any specific configuration of colors. I really want some blue. I think it does not matter where you put these. I'm going to use some of my mysterious 
from Modern Masters and hopefully Plaid hears us and goes back to making this color. I think if enough of us say it often enough, that might happen. Okay, what am I missing? Don't have any white in there. Looks like everything's here except for the blue I was talking about. So, I don't have a lot of this left and I don't know how much will, will actually last. Let's just give it down here. All right, now it's just time to play. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try this little spongy thing. And it looks like some of it's gonna build up, so I'm gonna wipe it off. Ooh, nice cells, cool. I should have kept it, there we go. I'm gonna wipe it down over the end and keep it to start here. Wipe it down over that end. Actually, I'm gonna wipe it down the whole end when I get there. That way I'll be covered by the time I want to do something else. These are similar to the other day's colors. I'm loving that that blue is stained. That is so awesome. And I am just going to wind these over each other. I shouldn't wipe that off. I'm trying to remember to wipe it off in the end, which will be perfect. The edges might not be done, but the end will be done. So I'm dragging with a really light hand. And that's just fun. I like that. So if I go from sideways, and I'm not even trying to eradicate all the colors and turn them into cells because I like the residuals. And I like the weight of this foamy thing because it's sort of, without trying too hard, it digs into stuff. This is very reminiscent of a smaller piece I did recently that you can probably find on swipes in the created playlists on my channel. Created playlists are under all playlists. And there's over 1,400 videos there. If you visit there, you'll find them organized by genre and by the hundred. I am liking my little tool. I'm liking my cells, too. I want some more. I'm going to try and twist it right here. Because there's not many swipe cards that have, you know, heft. And this one has some heft. And it's working pretty well to cover the ends as well as everything else. I'm wondering if I can make it go all the way down the edge. Maybe. In any case. Let's just keep moving. Back and forth in an arc. I see that thing. Come here thing before I lose you. Were you a bubble? Maybe. I don't know, but I got like dog hair on my tweezers and my paint. This is something, yes, this is something that needs to go. So yeah, the name of that painting was Mermaid's Breath. I like naming things Mermaid's Breath, actually. <laughs> I like mermaids. Someday I hope to do a mermaid. This looks like, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what this looks like. It looks like something to do with a mermaid. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep moving that. And now... And even that black comes up because I've got, I'm just one edge of this little spongy thing. I, I don't know what the name of, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> spongy packing material, I guess. I love that that blue stayed at the ends and that I could drag everything through. This is really a lot like the other one. And I would apologize except for I'm completely enamored of it. So if I happen to repeat the same process, you'll forgive me. So I'm going to use a torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to say thank you guys very much for all the contributions that have helped keep me painting. And if you are looking to be included in the monthly drawing, there are usually three or four or five, six. There are paintings that will be for whoever is helping support the studio using PayPal or Patreon. I prefer PayPal. Um, you can find the prizes shown on the end screen video that is... I wish I had some more paint. I'm going to have to touch that up after you're gone. And uh, if I'd had more paint, I'd have more paint in my dish. And if I had more paint in my dish, I could fix my whole sides. But um, I think maybe it's time to look and check and see if I've got everything that I want manipulated here. And torch. And see if I can remember what else I haven't. You know what? I do see that. 
I don't really mind them. Oh gosh. But it's the only spot that they are. I like it when the solid color stays. I think that's pretty well balanced. It's not, uh, ooh, cool. It's not overworked. It's pretty simple. And this is that spongy, like I said, this is the stuff that you find packed around um, electronics and things. I love you guys. There's almost 88,000, excuse me, there's almost 89,000 of you. I love the cells in here. This is, I just want to call it like water currents or something. I think also before you're gone, I can show you that we could definitely run a few skewers through. Just to add a few more lines. You could add more paint where you wanted it to. You could probably bring a basting brush in. Just in a few places. Yeah, it looks like water currents to me. And I actually like the basting brush. I don't think I should be surprised. I, I pretty much consistently like the basting brush. Just, it used to seem like it was a cheat to me, like, sort of like forks, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. If you like it, it's, it's, it's the way it should be. There's no rules. I do things because I can, and that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link that's under the link tree. My second book is called Unlimited Possibilities, sort of like this. Yeah, I like those bits of basting brush marks. I think I even want to grab some of this purple flash here and put it right in there. Because I can. Just dragging the side. And all of these, all the bristles are missing except for one row, and then I take out those bristles too. Hopefully I don't go too far. But the brush is nice because you can just add strokes where you want to. There. Okay, I'm, everybody's done as I was supposed to be <laughs> two minutes ago. So I should tell you guys, my email address is below the link tree, and should you happen to be interested in purchasing a painting, that is the biggest help you can do, or you can give the studio, is to make a purchase. If you give me a thumbs up, it helps my YouTube placement. If you, like I said, watch the videos longer, it helps. Comments help. The thing that helps the most is watching the whole video when, when the notification comes out, and other than that, I don't know. If you share my videos, I appreciate it. Very much. What else? Oh, Teespring clothing below the video. If you ever see anything of mine that I make that you would like to see on all over print leggings or t-shirts, or even if you go to Fine Art America, it can become, t uh, excuse me, not just t-shirts and tank tops and what baby onesies, but shower curtains and duvet covers. So some of the things that I've made, I even bought my own duvet cover. Not that the dog doesn't annihilate it. <laughs> it was black and white, my bad. Anyway, so I love you guys. I'm sure I missed something, but um, check for Facebook groups under the link tree. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors is for anybody looking to find out which artworks from YouTube I have edited and put in albums there. I, I'm trying to let those black spaces alone, those drags that got left behind from the background, because I actually like them. I think they break up the design really nicely. Um, this goes every direction and makes me pretty happy. All it requires really is some fish, I think. Um, I don't know. I'm umming a lot today. Anyway, so I love you guys, and I've told you that before, and I'll tell you again. And thank you very much for the contributions and the comments. I'll say it one last time. The drawing is on the exhibition video. The drawing prizes are on the exhibition video on the end screen of in the last 20 seconds of any video. Check my community board for today's video. Check Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for today's video. And don't forget to look for playlists created and in all. I love you guys. I'm going to climb my ladder and make sure you can see something. And maybe I'll even zoom in. Yeah, there we go. The camera's zooming in on a different spot. I wonder if I can loosen this up. 
You know what? I'm not going to try this time. Sorry, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.